Thank you to Tom S for donating to Extra Life and supporting Operation Alphonse Allais. So, let's start up this new event and uh, see what we gotta do. So, we're using some off-road cars, and I think I wanna use the Hummer from the most recent uh, Top Gear Challenge, Cops and Robbers. Speaking of uh, Top Gear Challenges, actually, hopefully you saw Cops and Robbers Part 2, because I uploaded it very, very late last night. So, here's what happened. I upload all my videos, like, before, or, like, most of my videos before they're actually supposed to go up. Or else people freak out about not having HD and it's stupid. Okay, this car doesn't turn. Um, so that's what I do normally. And then I'll just click like publish. So it goes to subscription boxes and basically goes online for everyone to see. Turns out I forgot to publish it. So uh, yeah, I'm on Skype with Raymond. Raymond's like, hey, weren't you supposed to upload part two of uh, Cops Robbers today? I'm like, well, shit. And uh, it went up around like 8.30 or 9 o'clock, so uh, if you haven't seen that, I'll include a link down below to that. But uh, yeah, that's what happened with that if you were interested. As well as, if you're wondering why we're actually doing another championship, or like a championship at the beginning here, it is because uh, we may have done a little cheeky glitch uh, to replay the Horizon finale. So again, if you're interested in that, link down below. But uh, yeah, we were, we were able to replay the Horizon finale, which was pretty cool, so... Uh, link in the description to that as well. Oh, yay. We're on one of my favorite driving roads in the game. Can you hear the enthusiasm, enthusiasm in my voice? Here's the problem with this road. It's so useless. You see that wall on the left that's going the whole way? Uh, turns out you can just drive over that in any single car and uh, go flying down the mountain, which is fun if you're into flying down mountains. Uh, if you if you like to drive on them though, and just happen to crash a bit, you're gonna have a bad day. So, turn ten, playground games. Can you make that wall a little taller so we don't actually go flying across uh, across it? That'd be great. All right, this Hummer may not be the fastest car, but at least I look really cool. No, see, we just need a wall that high, and then we'll be good. Playground, that'd be great. That'd be great. And this hasn't gone well. Look at that, fifth place. Oh boy. I need something fast. All right, that didn't go very well. Shall we try? Let's try the old Defender. I've never used this thing. Let's try it. I feel like the queen. Oh, wow. Check all the Willy's Jeeps. There's one, two, three, four, five, five in one race. So recently, you may have heard that YouTube has come out with some pretty cool feature called 60 frames per second uh, for videos to watch. And uh, some people have been saying, Hey, Nick, why don't you upload 60 frames per second video? Well, turns out, you know Forza Horizon 2 doesn't run at 60 frames per second, so that's a thing. Um, I was getting a lot of comments saying, yeah, Nick, why is no 60 FPS? Because it doesn't exist. So if you were wondering, that's why you can't do that. I've been getting a lot of comments that are like, why, why, why do you need to comment that? One that I got a lot was, oh my god, it was so annoying. If you guys saw the mobster challenge video, uh, where it was Willie, myself, and Marco figuring out what is the best mob, star mob car to buy, and I took a Tesla, right, which is an electric car, and if you know something about electric cars, they have no gears. They have one gear, essentially. So many, like, I was complaining about it being really slow and useless, right? And so many people were saying, Nick, shift up. Nick, shift up. It's like, I'm in an electric car. You can't shift up. Nothing's going to happen. So, YouTube comments. Yay. I'm really enjoying no braking line. It's actually been so much fun to just drive around with it. It actually makes the game look so much nicer. I just want to turn off basically as much of the HUD as possible. Like the time and the progress in the top left and then like the position. You don't really need that stuff. I think I want to turn it off and just look at the game. I remember I used to do that in games like like Assassin's Creed. I would turn off the whole HUD and just watch the watch the scenery. That was it's it's really cool to do that with really pretty games. Hey, look at that. That race went much, much better than the first one. I, I like this Land Rover. I feel I feel like the queen. But uh hopefully I can get this win. That guy's closing fast. Oh dear. Uh dude, you're gonna get boxed out. No, it's all good. 
Across the line! In first. Alright. Hopefully I can move up in that championship. Let's see. In second now. Perfect. Alright. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm in a normal-ish Willie's Jeep. Okay. Maybe not so normal. Ooh! It's too fast! I don't think I've ever said that before. It's too fast? Oh boy. Ooh, my god, it doesn't turn. So, if you're wondering where this car is from, this is from the mini challenge last week. Uh, do a barrel roll. Oh, shit. Was that, was that this week or last week? I can't really remember. Re really remember. But anyways, uh, today actually, funnily enough, another mini challenge coming out uh, called Jump the House. Or, well, something like that. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be called yet. But uh, you may have seen Willy do a sweet jump over a house, or well, attempt to jump over a house in uh, the Mobster Car Challenge. And uh, today I'm going to try and actually jump over. Oh, this isn't going well. This car's roly poly Jeep. So yesterday I was talking about how I got kicked off an F1 track. That was pretty cool. And uh, I said I would talk about how I got kicked off of the, uh, the top gear test track. Oh dear. Yeah. So before we begin, some backstory. Some of you guys know. Uh, I'm actually from England, and where my family's actually from in England is very, very close to Dunsfold, where they actually make Top Gear and where the Top Gear test track is and everything like that. Um, so when I went there a couple years ago to uh, see my grandparents, they were like, oh yeah, the track's just up the road, basically. Oh no. Oh no, pass them. Yes! So yeah, Top Gear test track is fairly close to uh, my grandparents. So what we decided to do is head down. I actually, before I begin, uh, I've actually told the story quite a while ago, like two years ago, back in the old Forza 4 Let's Plays, and uh, someone called me out on it, Top Gear Tim. Hello! Uh, I actually remember you guys, if you do comment, for quite a while. I do remember you guys. Uh, I still read all the comments and stuff. It takes me like a good hour and a half now, as to uh, before two years ago, probably took me around two minutes or so, but uh, yep, still reading all the comments. So hello, Top Gear Tim, and awesome for remembering No! My story. So yeah, as the story goes, uh, we are in the England of the United Kingdom. Oh, shit. So yeah, we are in England uh, for a couple weeks or whatever, and uh, we decide to head over to the Top Gear test track and just see what's up, because I've never seen it before. And being me, huge fan of Top Gear, huge fan of, like, basically everything. So I just wanted to, like, see the track and see what it is and everything like that. So uh, we drove down, and uh, basically the way you get to the Top Gear test track is by driving on this one lane road, basically the entire way there. Um, and it's like up this like five minute road and you can't really pass anything. And it's just like these houses and it, there's like something suspicious about it. You're just like, hmm, what? And um, anyways, you, you, when, you, when you've driven up all the way to the end of the road, you just see like this barrier in the, in the way of the road and then like BBC signs everywhere. So you go up to the barrier and you speak to this dude, right? So we went up to this dude, we're like, hello, uh, can we look at the track? Or like, can we just look around? And uh, B and BBC, they're like, nope, get out. Uh, so, yep, that, it was really short lived, but how I got kicked off the top of your test track, uh, just go to it and you'll get kicked out, which is fun, I guess, if you enjoy getting kicked out of stuff again. But, um, oh no, yeah, turns out you can't even go and look at the top of your test track, unless, Actually, my grandmother, actually, she like 70 year old woman, uh, got to go drive around it uh, with some charity thing, which is pretty cool. So yeah, my grandmother's been around the top of your test track and I haven't, which is fun and stuff. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can, I, I really want to work something out for when I go next. We'll see what happens with that though. Did I get the champion? You, right. you the podium finish. Now build on this and make sure Prick. Get a win. I didn't even get the championship win. I'm gonna murder you and your entire family. What? How? How did that happen? Um. God damn it. All right, so are we doing that tomorrow? Again? What? So, um, that was interesting. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did. Uh, click that subscribe button down below for more types of videos like this in your subscription box. And, uh, I'll see you tomorrow with that? Maybe? I don't know. We'll figure something out. See you guys. <laughs>